Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your September 2015 tarot scope. This is Gwendolyn from Readings by Gwendolyn and I just want to thank everyone for all the subscribes, the likes, the shares, the comments and thank you for booking readings with me. I really enjoyed doing the personal readings for those of you who booked with me. Um, so I just want to say I appreciate that and also let people know that if you do want to book a reading with me, um, someone requested a format that I thought was pretty great where they wanted a pre-recorded video for themselves. Um, and so I'm more than happy to do that. I can do that for the hour long or the half hour long version. So if anyone wants that, uh, feel free to just book a read and just say that you request a pre-recorded video. Um, and then I send a link to you with, you with a password so only you can access it. Um, so without further ado, let me just shuffle these a couple more times for Sag. And also, if you have an interest in um, which deck I'm using here, I actually feel like that's good for Sag. Um, if you have an interest in the deck that I'm using, I'm going to put a link to it down below in the description because a lot of people have been expressing an interest in, um, in this deck. It's the Morgan Greer deck, and I really love it. Um, so if you want to find out more about it, I'll have a link there. Okay, so, Sag, let's see what's going on for you for September. Um, the first part of the month, I for some reason, I'm liking these cards. It's really interesting. Um, you have Nine of Coins, which this is, I love this card in this deck. Um, this is a card of luxury. That's the main meaning of this card. Nine of Coins also means um, discipline, self-discipline, and reaping the re rewards from having... Um, done your own work or collecting money from work that you've done for yourself, having discipline. Um, so I'm going to say more about this card, but this is one of the cards that you have in the first part of the month. Then you also have Six of Swords, um, which is about recovery or travel. And then you also have Four of Wands, which is about celebration, celebration of the home, festivity, surprises. Uh, you can see it's a garland around the home. And then uh, you also have Seven of Cups. And Seven of Cups means choosing between many choices. Um, and sometimes not having those choices be really clear. So the first thing that I'll say about Nine of Coins is that this is a picture of a woman who has, uh, she's obviously got a lot of refinement. She has robes, she's eating, she's got purple robes, is eating grapes. She's got this falcon, which was a traditional symbol of, or sport of, um, you know, the royalty or having a lot of money. And she's got this turban with gems in it and jewelry she's got. So this is reaping rewards from your own diligence your own, this is like rewards that she has earned and brought to herself and therefore you can see she's wearing the coins because this is stuff that she's done for herself. Um, it's in reverse, so it's, for some reason, this card is giving me a little bit like sour grapes. There may be a way in which you, you know, aren't, you don't feel like you're bringing enough to yourself. You definitely have the capability because this is nine of coins energy and this energy is present, but because it's in reverse, there may be a way in which you don't, that's not coming to the surface or you're not experiencing all the riches that self-discipline can give to you. You might have some money stashed away from your own making, but you're not quite happy with it or you're not quite experiencing this level of luxury or for some reason that's being blocked. Maybe you're working really hard, but you're just not getting any money from it. Um, but nine of coins, nine of coins wealth and luxury is definitely available to you. I would just like you to ask, why is it in reverse? Why is it in shadow? Why is it not coming to the surface? Because um, she's definitely there for you. In fact, she is in line with magician, and this is about personal power, and this is about reflection. So there, there's some interesting energy going on here. I'll say more about that as we go through it. But this card is uh, Six of Swords, and what this card is is it's a card about recovery. 
Um, it's a card about sometimes journey or travel. It, it's usually about going from stormy seas to calm seas. And it's a picture of someone who's ferrying, someone who's been suffering away from troubled waters onto calmer horizons. So my question to you is, is there a way in which you feel like you cannot get away from these rough, choppy seas? Is there a way in which you feel like you can't rescue yourself or recover from something that's troubling you? This is in reverse, and that's why I'm saying, you know, there is, there's help available, and there's recovery available. There's travel away from these choppy waters that is definitely available to you, but what is blocking you from receiving? Are you just not willing to to buy a ticket? Are you not willing to pay the guy who is going to take you away from all of this? There's why is why is that being blocked for you, Sag? There's some way in which, or is there a way in which you're not recovering from something that it's it's chronic? Is there a way in which there is chronic not receiving enough from your own um, your own efforts? Because this is receiving a lot from your own. Sorry, this is receiving a lot of spoils and riches from your own efforts. And this card is a card of recovery and, you know, healing and journey and travel. With these two in shadow, is there a way in which you're not recovering from something or that there's a chronic lack of getting money from your own efforts? Just a question. So that's what's coming up for you. You might be reviewing that at the beginning of the month. And then these two cards are related to your home life. Um, this is a card of the home and you can see, you know, it's about festivities. It's about celebrating. Sometimes this is the marriage card. So you may have attended a wedding or you may be planning one. Um, but the fact that it's in reverse says that, you know, is it really all that it seems? This card seven of cups says to me, you know, look things carefully, is look things carefully in the eye. Is it, is it? Uh, really what it seemed to be on the surface because this is all full of clouds and haziness um, and it's a card of decisions and it's often a card of like is what you see what you get it's got a lot of Neptune energy so when you pick something when you choose something when you get it past this cloud range is it really all that you thought it was there may be a way in which some of you are experiencing a home life that looks like it could have been all roses and, you know, happiness and celebration and joy. But because that's in reverse, it's saying, well, maybe what you thought you were going to get is not what you really wanted. Like, you know, is it the jewels that you choose? You cho did you choose treasure and then find out it's not really treasure? Did you choose a woman and then find out that she was not really what you thought she was? Did you choose success and find out that it, it's not really all that satisfying or fulfilling? Or are you playing a part? Did you put on a mask and then you're finding that you don't really want to to be that person? Or, you know, one of the things that could be happening for you is um, because this image is showing up in both of these cards is this tower or fortress image. Did you choose a home life that is not turning out to be the home life you wanted? Or is there a way in which things are showing up not really in the way that they presented themselves to be? So that's that's also a part of the questions that are going on in the first part of the month. So you might be reviewing, why is it that I can't bring enough to myself? You know, is my home life not as pretty as it looked? Um, those may be questions that you're asking yourself in the beginning part of the month. Or how is it that I can bring more to myself? Um, how is it that I can make better choices about my home and how I want to um, decorate it or who I want to, how, what is it about my home life that is dissatisfying for me at this moment? And then towards the middle of the month, um, you've got some big change happening. This is Wheel of Fortune. Um, this card is one of the major arcana cards. So this card is all about tables are turning. You know, whatever was up will go down, whatever was down will come up. Uh, the wheels of, of life are changing. This is like the changing of the seasons or the turning of the tides or the, the turning of the tables. So um, one of the things that I will say about this is it's right, right next to Magician, which is another major arcana card. This card is all about consciousness, about the focus of our consciousness, about power, 
and the focus of our will. So you can see in this card, he's got all of the elements available to him. Swords, which represent mentality. Rods, which represent um, the life force or vitality. Um, coins, which represent the material world, the physical plane or money, values. And then cups, which represent the heart element. So you can see he's got all of those elements available to him and he takes, because he's a magician, he takes what's possible in the etheric realm and brings it down to earth. He says like abracadabra, let it be so, and creates his own reality, his own, he's able to be a very creative, powerful force because he's got the command of his own will. Very powerful card. What this is telling me, with these two together and both in reverse, is that you are not necessarily feeling your own power. You're not necessarily feeling like you're in control. And therefore, um, you know, things can't really change until you access your own power, your own consciousness, your own force of your own will. And with this one in line with the nine of um, coins, it's, it's bringing up for me that you may not feel... Uh, control or power of directing your own finances. This is telling me nine of nine of coins is about you know enjoying luxury because of um, your own self discipline. This in reverse is telling me sour grapes. Um, you might be kind of complaining about the fact that you don't feel like you have your own power in things, or that you've been kind of um, stripped away of your power, or that you're not. You're not feeling like you can create things or be original or, or you know, have that. The power that magician has is he says words and they happen. He thinks something and it happens. He's able to be creative and, and create, like literally say, I want this and it happens. So this in reverse says you have that power. Why isn't it happening? What is it that's blocking this from happening? Um, or why is this in shadow? So once you're able to access that, Sag, um, things are going to change and rapidly. You know, the tables will turn. Things that when if you feel dispower, un, unpowerful, or I'm trying to think what the word for that would be. If you're feeling powerless, um, by embracing that, you can change things very, very dramatically. These are both major arcana cards. These are both very strong forceful cards. Um, Page of Pence is someone who is willing to experiment. So he's willing to experiment with different values. He's willing to experiment with different ways of doing things. Um, this is the physical manifestation because it's coins, it's um, finances, it's values, it's material possessions. And he says, let me try it out. Let me see if this works. So this might be trying on a new hat, like a new job, trying something else out to see. He's got this optimistic um, willingness to him in relation to the physical world and bringing resources to him. So he's he kind of like says, let's go see if there's gold in those hills. Um, he's got this kind of pioneering, welcoming attitude towards the physical world. So that could be you, and that could be what happens once you facilitate this change to happen. Um, he also like kind of holds up, um, holds up this coin in front of him, and he just considers it. So he thinks, you know, maybe maybe I am capable of making some more money. Maybe I am capable of drawing more resources to me. Maybe he just kind of, he was willing to just consider and ponder and experiment. Like, what would it be like if I had this much money? What would it be like if I had these assets available to me? What would it be like if I had this kind of job? So that is, you know, willing willingness to put on a different hat. Um, and then Justice shows up. She's an, another major arcana card. So in the middle of the month, Sag, you have three major arcana cards all like boom 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 and it's oh wait sorry i think this is right side up um it all might be related to changing your job um or changing the way that resources come to you changing the just play with it just be willing to experiment look up this card if you if you'd like more information sag because page of pence 
our page of coins is really about experimenting, being willing, being optimistic, considering the possibilities. That's good energy for you. And you will get your just desserts from that. It's what it's telling me. You will get your just rewards. Like you will, justice will be done um, in the middle of the month. You know, based upon what's interesting here um, is you will actually get the results of the choices that you make. Part of, if you look at this line, if you just choose something haphazardly, which is seven of cups energy, if you just choose something out of the blue without looking it in the eye and looking at what it actually is, there's going to be justice about it. You know, you're going to get a definitely a just result. And then there may or may not be some heartbreak related to it or disappointment. So you can protect yourself from this heartbreak or disappointment by making strong decisions and really looking something in the eye before you choose it. I mean, these two cards in alignment with one another really say, you know, you choose what you get and then you make, the decision is made, you've had a verdict and then you have to either live with the heartbreak of it or, you know, um, hopefully you've, if you've made a good decision, then there is no heartbreak uh, as a result. But that there's some major things, major decisions for you in the middle of the month, big changes, but it all has to do with you accessing your personal power. That's how you get your just desserts. Your that's how you get that's how justice is served. It may mean that, you know, you work really hard and you have to change jobs in order to access money that that you're deserving of. I'm not sure what it means for you, Sag, but you'll you'll have a better idea of what this page of pence represents for you because it's related to related to him. Optimist, um, optimistic willingness, willing to consider um, material possessions and resources and how they can come to you. So that's how justice will come about. Um, in the later part of the month, you have, it, it looks like there's a lot of just waiting and considering and reassessing and pondering. Um, you know, all these cards are in reverse, so it, there is something that's troubling you at the end of the month. I mean, it could be related to some of the change that's happening, this big dramatic change. This card is four of swords, and what this card means is to take a time out to reflect upon things, to pause in between the battles. And this is a soldier who's been in battle and he just needs to like check out for a while and he needs to just rest and prepare to fight another day. Um, so this is saying you need a rest. This, I wonder because if this card's in reverse, are you allowing yourself to have a rest? Are you allowing yourself to step back from a situation and think about it and reassess things? Cause you might just need a timeout and it being in reverse makes me wonder, are you allowing yourself to have a timeout? Because this is in shadow. This is not coming to the surface. You really want a timeout. You really need one. But are you allowing yourself a timeout? I'm not sure. This card, too, is about reflecting, taking time, take, having patience. This is the farmer card. And as you can see, these seven coins, this is seven of coins, these seven coins um, are ripening. They're like in a vineyard, and they're sort of like grapes that are ripening. Funny enough, again, sour grapes. So I think there's something about you this month that you might be experiencing sour grapes, Scorpio. Um, I don't know why, but that's come up in two of the cards. Um, so these grapes are sour until he waits and is patient to the time of harvest and, and waits until they sweeten and then he can harvest them. So a lot of what farmer card means is assessing things, taking time to wait for that garden to um, appreciate or for the garden to to come to a time of harvest. And in the meantime, he just kind of waits and, and leans on his staff and, and thinks about things and reassesses things and, and, you know, is kind of evaluating is this, are these the fruits of what I want my labors to generate? So I question with these two cards together, are you willing or able to take a time out and reassess things? I don't know if you are because this is, this is in shadow. This is in, um, this is in reverse. This is not coming to the surface. So the, the desperate rest that you may need, you may not be allowing yourself it. So I'm going to suggest 
Oh, sorry, Sag. I've said Scorpio a couple times, but this is Sag. Um, Sag, just let yourself have a rest and reassess and ponder things because I, I'm encouraging you to consider whether these you're getting the harvest that you want from the energies that you're putting towards it. That also speaks to this card. Ten of Coins is um, inheritance. It is domestic bliss. It is money that you've received for making good decisions over time. So just like Nine of Coins is receiving material blessings from your own self-discipline and from your own self-efforts, Ten is the next card up. And so that's like saying, you know, the grandfather has a lot of money to give, give an inheritance because he's made good decisions over time or things have been well established or things have been um, built up over time. This being in reverse, I don't know if you can expect this windfall. Um, Seven of Coins is also the Millionaire's card, so there's some money involved in here, and there may not be, um, you may not be getting the money that you expected or that you received when this card shows up in reverse. Um, you know, this, this card shows the happy couple behind the walls of the fortress, but if it's in reverse, they're not necessarily the happiest couple. Um, there is some heartbreak. There is some betrayal. There is some way in which, um, you know, was the right choice made regarding the home? Was there, you know, regarding this supposedly joyous celebration, here's the choices that you've made. Justice is served, and now there's heartbreak. So... I, I think towards the end of the month, Sag, you're going to have to just do some re-evaluation, is what these cards are telling me. Re-evaluation and time to think about and reassess what it is that you were expecting to receive. That can be a card of this, like expecting a windfall, expecting an inheritance, expecting domestic bliss. You, know, you might have to revise what your expectations were and say, you know, is there heartbreak involved? It's it's going to be something that you can handle because this is in reverse. It's not necessarily heartbreak on the surface, but it's kind of, again, like not everything was as happy and sunny as you thought it was going to be. There's some, there's kind of a hidden sword in here, um, you know, with it in reverse. it's in, The sword is in shadow, so you might be like kind of feeling betrayed or feeling like you, you are in... There are three people involved, and you're kind of trying to hide it. So it's it's not as happy of as a picture as you might have hoped for. But if you can take the time to rest and reassess, then that's going to be helpful to you. I hope that you will, Saj, just, just take a time out and think about things. Think about choices that you've made and whether or not justice is being served because, um, you know, life is made up of of choices that we've made. So just know that there's big change for you in the middle of the month, Sag, if you're willing to access um, your own power and your own consciousness and your own mind. That will change things up a lot for you. So that's my reading for you, Sag. I hope it wasn't too heavy and intense, um, but I just try to read the cards as they show up. So thanks again, everyone, for um, the likes and the shares and the subscribes. I really appreciate all of you um, subscribing and liking and sharing and I really appreciate everyone who's booked a reading with me and I just want to thank say thanks again um, I really appreciate all of it okay thanks Saj